What's up guys, it's the Gem Expert and today we will take a look at Trex NYC and his good friend Mike who is trying to convince us that Topaz and Quartz is the same gemstone and it's actually not. It's pretty entertaining and you should check it out. Let's go. Uh, what is this stone? This is a smoky topaz. A smoky topaz. But so to start this off, this is actually Quartz and not Topaz. But we will get into that further into the video. Let's see. It's called a Jacarandá. Mm -hmm. It is called a Quartz Crystal. Because of the nature of the scales of the topaz. And yeah, the growth structure clearly tells us that this is a Quartz stone and not a Topaz. And yeah. How do we also know that this is Quartz and not Topaz? Well, Topaz is quite rare compared to Quartz. And a specimen of this size would be in a museum and not be carved. What is the Jacarandá? What is that? Is that, a, uh, is that French or...? That's in Portuguese. Oh, in Portuguese. And what does that translate to? Uh, alligator. Alligator. Well, it does look kind of like alligator skin, but regardless of that, it's still a quartz stone. And there's not a lot of people in the world that really do this. I'm sure there's some in different countries, but in uh, New York City, it'd probably be... The only one. The only one, right. And that is true, actually. Carving is mostly handed over to people overseas in Asia or India because the labor is more cheap and pr probably the people are more talented also. Uh, those smoky topazes over there? Yes. So this is, you know, um, uh, I guess gemstone quality? Oh, this is a citrine. Well, it's the same family. Uh, okay. Now, since Mike is such an expert, let's get into it. There are seven main silica groups and minerals, okay? These groups include a lot of gemstones, not only quartz, which is also tourmaline, garnet, zircon, even beryl, or in other words, emeralds and aquamarines, and of course also his beloved paraipotumaline. They are all the same for him, basically, which they are not. They are very different. They are not even in the same silicate family. A quartz gemstone is in the tectosilicate family, while a topaz gemstone is in the nesosilicate or orthosilicate category. In fact, topaz is a very different gemstone. You can see the conductivity of topaz is much higher than quartz. And that's one of the main ways to figure out whether you have a topaz or a quartz gemstone is by its conductivity. A very efficient way to figure it out. Same family. You can go. In fact, we are all the same family. Only one human race, one type of gemstone, one mic, one love, one brain cell. Might this be an attempt to anti wars? the world hunger, or even possibly the segregation between humans, not only humans, but also the segregation between gemstones. We might never know, but let's carry on as one. Right there. uh, that's the smoky topaz. Yeah. So this is what people usually see and usually get when they are getting a uh, topaz like that. Isn't it a metaphor for our simplistic minds we can barely grasp? Is this a rare to find a big peak chunk like this, or is it more or less it's out there. Is it more or less out there? Should Mike tell the truth that this is just a quartz? Keep the hunger, wars and starvation in this world going? Or should he lie and deny its rarity? Destroying the monopoly built by the evil Topaz Mafia that keep this lie alive by supplying museums with only a few bigger specimens once in a hundred years. No, it's out there, but you know, the carving is the detail of it, because you, we made the carving to fit the type of design of the piece. Right. At this point, Trex knew the segregation will end soon, and he will no longer have to lose his mind over gemstone prices, because soon it will be all one. One universal truth will be accepted, one type of gemstone. This is a, so essentially because of that, it's kind of really a unique piece in the world. Yeah. It is truly unique. Unique as Mike's understanding of these gemstones. Is this topaz as well? Or is this quartz? This. It is now all topaz. Trex, there are no limitations anymore. You are insisting, asking whether this is the new truth or this could be a lie. Is this too good to be true? This, well, same cool, family. Yeah, same family, right? But And this is another Christmas. Well, yeah, same family. family. I mean, Trex cannot grasp the spiritual enlightenment he has experienced by holding this crystal skull. 
a deeper metaphor for the decay of the human, and that in the end we are all the same, a skull. To be honest, but you love skulls, is that what it is? Is that your specialty or something? No, this is something I made for someone. That's... It is much more than that. It's the symbolic decay of knowledge, the decay of 200 years gemology, all scientific discoveries and understandings just to create segregation, symbolically destroyed, carved out, out of the ruck of knowledge, into a human skull head, symbolically, by one Brazilian man. It's coming out. Oh, okay. Is this Topaz? Or? Yeah. It is. It is all Topaz now. Trex will have to accept this new truth on his journey. How much is something like this? Don't give me the wholesale price. Give me the price that's fair to sell. This is about 18000 18000 <laughs> Bro, 18000 I mean, in the end, it's art and he can ask whatever he wants, you know, for it. But, yeah, it's a lot of money for a quad stone. And, you know, that's the, the reason why I said that, because that's really, you could still, you could buy this for 18000 and go sell it for 25. Yeah, let's sell a crystal quartz stone for 25,000 US dollars. That's a good plan, Trex. Very good. Yeah? You know, in all reality, or 35, really. I mean, how much? <laughs> yeah, man, 35 is even better. It keeps getting better here. Does something like this cost? Nobody really knows. I've been. Cam is carving this cup. Uh huh. Black jade. Oh, uh, black jade. Now I distance myself further even by any gemological explanations from Mike. I hope you understand that. Yes. And where does that come from? What region of the world do you get black jade? You don't mind if I take a look at it real quick? Go ahead. That comes from in the U.S. All right. Wyoming. Well, I have to. What is this? That. <laughs> That's Topaz too, probably, you know. That is a druzy made out of crystal. Now he pulls up with these Australian redneck terms like Druzy. Okay. And what, this is a, a, a same family as, as the other stuff? Yes, it is now all the same family. It is. Same family. You want to see what it looks like? Uh, sure. Yes. Are we going to wash it or something? So, there it is. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. And what are you going to do? You have a smoky topaz with an amethyst. That. <laughs> He's like, yeah, everything that's a brown crystal is a topaz, and everything else is a quartz. I see. I see. That's amazing. And there's something you could, uh, any ideas on what this is going to end up? So this could be a portrait. Oh man, this is the greatest comedy. What the fuck is he talking about? A portrait of what? Of his own face? Yeah. Or make a portrait, whatever you want to do. You'd right? So we could sit here and get the, a picture, and you could essentially carve it into nation. And this is an amazing specimen. How much for this piece? Uh, about 7,000. 7,000. Practically free. <laughs> Bro, yeah, practically free for 7,000 US dollars. A worthless piece of quartz. Bro. All right. So when you hear the number 7,000, you're only going to hear that here. No one has the balls or courage to price his quartz stone at 7,000 US dollars. So yeah, it's true. It's the only place you will find a rock like that for 7,000 US dollars. Because if you're shopping, uh, you know, in an in a end consumer area, you might have an extra zero at the end of that. What the fuck is a end consumer area? He talks about retail, I guess. And yeah, then it would cost 70,000 euros or dollars, right? Come on, man. In some cases, I, I would say so. You know, it's a business. I mean, 7,000 for a rare crystal like this. If look at the rarity of it. It's so rare. Look at, look at the small size it's found in. If people knew the capacity and the, and demand went up, it would be gone forever. So what is, which stone is this? Pink opal. That's a good example for showing that not all opal is precious opal. Um, uh, to be quite honest with you, I kind of want to move in here with you. I'm, uh, to be quite honest with you, I kind of want to move in here with you. Yeah, because the thing is, there's so many opportunities.